manage patients who have kidney failure, chronic kidney failure, acute kidney injuries, and other diseases related to the kidney. In simpler terms, I can see dialysis is removal of excess fluid, toxins, and wastes that accumulate in the body when the kidneys are not able to perform their functions, especially with kidney failure. So that's when we have to introduce a machine that will have to act as the kidney uh, so that it can help us uh, excrete the wastes that have accumulated in the body. We have two types of dialysis. There is hemodialysis and there is peritoneal dialysis. What we do here is just hemodialysis. Hemodialysis simply means we have an, a machine, a machine that you're going to use uh, to wash out the excess uh, wastes in the body. While in peritoneal dialysis, we're going to use the peritoneum. Peritoneum is just part of the abdomen that covers the intestines as our medium for remove, our medium that we'll use to remove the excess uh, toxins and fluid. For us to have to do dialysis on anyone, first of all, we have to do counseling and teach the patient on what to expect, how it will be, um, side effects. So for us to, uh, we definitely have to get blood from your body. And through that, we, there's uh, uh, something called access created. Uh, we have the temporary or the acute ones, and then we have the chronic ones that we we'll use for longer, especially for those patients that are not going to have dialysis on short-term basis. We do it from around 4, 4 5 a.m., the first session, for four hours, up to around 8, 9 and then we go to the second session, which is from between 10 and 11, up to around 2, 3 p.m. Sometimes we do it at night, if, especially for emergency cases. Caregivers is anyone who is taking care of the patient, be it a relative, a friend, just anyone who is taking care of this patient. We definitely have to teach them what this, because mostly it's new. It's, it's, most people don't know what dialysis is from the term they just probably hear it or they've never seen it. So we have to take them step by step. We introduce, we even, to the extent of, we have to show them. Some of our patients, older patients also, help us with counseling. We do, uh, the counseling team, we have a renal nurse, uh, just a general nurse outpatient. We have um, nutritionist, social worker, and psychologist. So we have to take them through the whole process because there's financial uh, implications. We have diet issues, so they have to be there. <laughs>